Jones. Wow. Hey, Mum. What was that? Mum doesn't know either, but it's a bad omen. Let us pray. Okay. Mum, what's that? What? What? Oh, there. The Oli Iron Chain Knights. Why is the army of the Oli Sea here? Hey, hey! The Mother Pilgrim back there was quite the beauty. Is she your type, Vice Commander Azan? I'll bet she's a war widow. Mind yourself, Serpico! Precisely how do you regard this duty of apocalyptic inquiry? A miracle of our solemn and dreadful God is before your eyes, and you let them stray over a mere woman? You ungrateful dog! Oh, you're so uptight! Awkward old men are pitiful, you know. This is why you're still single at your age. That's none of your concern. I'm something of a clergyman, and I've absolutely no intention of wedding. That's not fashionable these days. You two, we're on a mission. Could you put an end to it? Message! She got angry. <laughs> it's your fault. Don't he he me. What is it? We... we found it. <laughs> found it? Really? At last. You're certain? Aye. Unmistakably. As prophesied, the Red Lake has appeared. What in... Oh, dear Lord! To think that something like this would really appear! It surely is the Red Lake, as the prophecy foretold. No mistake. The revelations say that when the sun dies five times, a red lake will appear to the west of the city, with a name both new and old. It is proof that the fifth angel will alight. The angel is the hawk of darkness, the master of the sinful black sheep, and the king of the blind white sheep. The one who shall call down upon the world an age of darkness. Talk about tough times. Looks like things are shriveling up in these parts. Oh, likely there ain't been nothing worth plundering. And now this rain! <coughs> Only good we caught this scrawny kid wandering in the forest. Well, even so, she'll be worth salmon when we sell her off. <coughs> oh, sheesh! He likes her! <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic, man. Fool. By the way, you know about this tree? Huh? What about it? A long time ago, heretics who believed in forest spirits lived around here. Heretics? It said they'd stake people's intestines to a tree and make them walk around it once. It was a ritual of sacrifice. This tree is one of them. This one? Hey, lay off the bad jokes. This place is creepy enough already. Think it's a joke? Look. Look real close at all the bumps. Don't they look like human faces? I'll bet those are the faces of people who got nailed to this tree. Enough already. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I get up, bitch. Hey, Dick, what are you doing? <laughs> Ain't it obvious? Let's try it. That ritual thing. Forget about it. 
We gotta sell her. We could just snatch another woman. Huh? And besides, uh, yeah. I wanna <laughs> see if she can really walk around a tree even once with her guts nailed to it. <laughs> That boy's sick in the head. Leave the fool be. <laughs> Don't move. Oh, this will hurt. Oh, what's that? Uh, what the? Who's there? What are you trying to pull? What now? Get your ass out here. <laughs> Ah! Who the hell are you? <sighs> Can't even catch a wink. <laughs> How long have you been there, bastard? Since long before you all started jabbering. <laughs> you made a fool of me. No, I didn't. Don't, don't screw with me, man. We could always drag out your bowels. Instead of the girls. <laughs> Never mind that. Oh. Is that story true? About this tree? Staking intestines and all that? Huh? Sure. So what of it? You wanna join the club? Ah, this sucks. I can't believe I got out of the rain under something like this. No sleep's making me stupid. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is none of my business. But you'd best get out of here now. If you don't want to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the last thing I expected from this fool. Don't you realize the position you're in now? <laughs> That's too bad. How you made my buddy bleed. You won't get away with it. Well, I'll give you one chance. Leave all your arms and goods and split. Huh? <laughs> come on, come on. Move or your head gets smashed. Sorry, but one arm's all I've got. What? A fair car? Made of iron. <sighs> you, you've got quite the rarity there, pal. We'll, we'll be taking it. Along with your life. Wait. You begging? Because it's way too late. Yeah. Looks like you're right. It is too late. Monster, a dreadful, 
and fantastic spectacle. It was a man bearing a gigantic slab-like iron sword longer than his own body. Calmly placed himself before the monster. <laughs> I've seen the sun in three days. Get one of these. Ugh. So it was you, Bug. Poking your nose into things. It's what I like to do, right? It's not like I asked it to beat up those bandit scots. <laughs> well, guess it is true that I used ya. <laughs> Who knew that monster'd be. <laughs> what? I'm no freaky bug. You don't have to do that after we saved you. <laughs> Cry babies. Oh, Misty Valley. Uh, An elf from Misty Valley. Misty Valley. Huh? Whoa! Wait for me. First, I prayed to God in ten years. Mm -hmm. you, you gotta be kidding. I didn't think it was really haunted. Man, what a hell of a night, I tell ya. Huh? What the? All this mist suddenly. Uh, boy, just now. Yeah, uh, I don't like this. Uh, wha what is it? Uh, this is a fair. First a monster, and now elves. Did it, did, dear God, this ain't some kid's fairy tale. Yes, this is a fairy tale for children. <laughs> Over there. That's my village. Pretty run down. Hmm. 
Ha, Jill. Running out like that's all of a sudden. Where the hell you been wandering all night, huh? Still drinking. This entire time. You stupid runt. Me and me war buddies here was just reminiscing about the glory of the battlefield. So, so what? You look like a fool still wearing that thing. You say what? Gee, please stop. She's come back safe after all. Hi, Jill. Glad to see you're okay. Sorry about last night. Mm. Mm. That being said, go buy some booze. You're going to keep drinking. Jill, stop that. Enough already. Day after day, you babble on about some battle you lost. Why don't you think about us some? <laughs> lost battle? Old babble. Don't talk to me like you know more than a kid. We fought our hearts out so our wives and children could live in safety. I served my country crawling under cannonballs and came away with a bum leg. Hmm. What? What's that look? Apologize to your father, Jill. Out of the way! Mom! No! I refuse to look at the father who risked his life for his family. What was that look for? What? Huh? What? What? Huh? You gotta show me more respect. You gotta, gotta be nicer to me. Oh, shit. Bloody needle. When did you get... Don't sweat the details. Who? Who are you? What the hell are you doing? Uh, no. It was this. <laughs> uh, an, an elf? An elf? He's got an elf with him? He's got an elf with him. Good grief. What's the deal with these people? What did I do? <laughs> Stay back! Stay back! Um, I won't hurt you again. Jill, you hurry and get in the house. N no, Mum. That elf saved me. He's not from the Misty. Does your kind swarm about and eat crops? You there? You're gonna hand that elf over to us? Peacefully. That's fine by me. No, it isn't. But first, I want to know why. Shut up! Just give it here! Otherwise, we'll beat you dead! Yeah! You're wrong! He's not one of the Misty Valley Elves! Do you just come inside the house? Oh boy. Doesn't seem talking's getting us anywhere. Bloodthirsty Elves. Don't just stand there, skedaddle! Uh. Skedaddle. Give me back my grandchild. Old lady, I screwed up. He, he attacked that old woman. Get in the pouch. Maybe they'll calm down if I kill one or two. God, no, you're wrong. He's not one of the Misty Valley Elves. Damn it. Death to the Elves. Don't let the elf escape alive! D don't let him go! Ah. See him? That way! Ah. Why'd it turn out like this? I'll get them. Ignoramuses. Some arson, maybe? Hey. I mean, what's the big idea? Catching the charming little elf and beat him to death? They're psychos! A den of twisted sex offenders! Usually, elves are synonymous with cuteness. When a head or two a cattle gets stolen, ain't it a happy old tradition in backward joints like this to just smile and say, he was just a mischievous elf. That's supposed to be an elf's privilege. Ah, uh, don't you get that? Someone ought to beat your attitudes into shape. Keep your chin down. You done yet? Since when did my satchel become your nest? Don't sweat the details. Just think of it as having picked up a good luck charm. Means you're lucky. What's lucky about you? My luck just took a nosedive. Eh, I'll curse you. Mr. Swordsman? Little Elf? I'm sorry. 
If only I'd warned you ahead of time, this wouldn't have- No kidding. Thanks to that, I missed out on some valuable info. I'm Puck. Are you okay, Jill? Hmm. Sure. I'm fine. You can hide in that windmill shed. No one's used it since it broke down. When night falls, I I'll bring some food. Then we'll talk. Stay put until then. Hey, uh, Jill, right? If you come, do it towards morning. Do not come near me before dawn breaks, no matter what. Huh? I doubt you want a repeat of last night. Took long enough? How long was I supposed to wait? You slug! I'm, I'm sorry. Now, now, you've proved your point. It's because you're this way. The jail's turning out the way she is. Don't you see that? Discipline her! I... I'll be mindful. I'm gonna take a piss. Sleep a minute ago. A black swordsman with an elf. He's come from some strange world. Some place I don't know other than here. Nothing but bad luck. You should have died on that day. Eleven years ago, beneath your mother's corpse. You should have died. I'll let you in on something. Remember what happened the night of your first battle? Donovan bought you for three silver coins. I'm the one he paid. Why? Because I was sick of you, that's why. You killed Shisa, and then you followed me around like some lonely pup. Just when I thought I could sleep after four days. Huh? Why didn't you tell me about the Misty Valley? The valley is east of this village, over three mountains. 
for some strange reason, a mist hangs there all year round. So everyone calls it the Misty Valley. There's a legend that elves have lived there for a long time. But why? Why does everyone get that look on their face when anyone mentions elves? Did something happen? I guess some weird swarm did go rampaging in the fields. How would? We'd never do that. You... might be right. Huh? For some years now, the villages in this area have been attacked by mysterious creatures. Fields and storehouses are attacked and crops devoured. Lots of livestock are killed too. Everyone who sees them say the same thing. That they're elves. It must be the elves of the Misty Valley. That's nuts. It can't be. Elves attacking human villages? Elves naturally do all they can to avoid being seen by humans. It's some kind of mistake. Have you ever seen them, Jill? Yes. My village has been attacked many times. They're small and they glow faintly. There are insect wings on their backs and... They're shaped like people. We've got a match. <laughs> but... I think something's not right. Something's strange. And... I don't think it's true. You're just too kind. I do declare. I am useful. You see? You see? But it's true that damage has been done. And not just to fields and livestock. There's another reason why everyone in the village is scared. It's that... Those little ones... Also attack humans. And eat them. And... They carry off children. Jill? She's in the wrong for wandering around outside at a time like this. It ain't my fault. Damn it. No one round here listens to a thing I say. Why's my look so rotten? Huh? Damn it all. <coughs> oh, it's Thomas from the Hansons. Where, were they killed? Stay down, kid. Hey, look. From yesterday, 
Why? What does he bloody want? Elves, huh? Dad! Mom! Hey, kid. You want revenge from Mummy and Daddy? <sighs> or else, do you want to go with these things? Uh-uh. Okay. Help out, then. Wait, Jill, wait! Hey! I'm telling you, it'd be best to sit tight in the windmill shed. This is dangerous. Come on, quit it. This is bad news. <laughs> Isn't that? How oh, dare he? D dear God. There he goes again. Kind of vermin. I knew it. a good lure, boy. Watch. Uh -huh. Bugs burn. Real nice. Scourge. That was mean! Did you all hear that? What should we do? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Get him. He's a liar! He's a liar! He's a liar! Always get him. What's with them? They don't seem like elves. They seem like... Right. Then here I go. Uh, wait! Guts! Time out! Shut up or get lost, you. Yahoo! Yahoo! Gotcha! Gotcha! Yeah! <laughs> Bitch! Time out! Hey, time out! I said time out! Quit fighting them! Shut up! I can hardly tell you apart as it is. Keep hanging around and I'll swat you too. Listen! They... They're definitely not elves. They're... They're children. Say what? The way they move and act. Besides, 
I can feel it in their thoughts. I can tell. They're children. Human children. Human? Huh? Hey! Don't go talking with humans on your own like that. That's what we call Peekoff, the outcast. Huh? Peekoff? Huh? Peekoff? What? Peekoff gets punished along with the humans. Ow! Kill her! Shoot her down! Huh? Huh? Uh, what? Who gives? <laughs> Stop it, Rosine! It's you, isn't it? Jill? Rosine! Rosine! Are you okay there, Sonny? Oh, God! Mr. Swordsman! Hey, what's wrong? It's her dust. Oh, look, looks like she's poisonous. Nice clumsy, damn it. Can you stand? You can beat him up now, kiddo. M m m moy cattle barn. The, the winter provisions. Crap. Was it you? Did you do this? Thomas? You use Thomas like that? Have you no humanity? Oh no. We're pissing them off again. Especially the housewives. It's all cause guts go so nuts. <laughs> It's all cause guts goes nuts. <laughs> What's so funny, bastard? <laughs> you people make me laugh. When this kid ran out, did even one of you unlock your door? <laughs> uh, 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 in any case. You will hand those children over to us. Jill, Thomas, come here. Jill! Jill! Huh? Hurry! Hurry! Huh? Hurry and come here! Mom. <sighs> no. They're children! They're children! Kids! They're children! They're children! Oh, sweet mother of God. Huh? Oh, damn things changed back when they died. Change of plan. <gasps> Jill! Jill! How about you step aside? How about you step aside? Uh, uh, Jill! Mrs. Don't! God, Jill! Wait a minute! Uh, what are you thinking? You're pissing them off even more here! Quit robbing them all the wrong way! Hey, look! An elf! It's an elf! Is he really on their side? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Now everything's gone all wrong. Coming through. Everyone, please stand back. He's wounded, so it'd be really dangerous to approach him. Jill! Mom! Ah! 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 Give it up. My body's going numb, and I don't know when I'll lose control. You brute! <gasps> Misses! Ah, uh, evil! Uh, this is turning into the least of all available evils. Uh. Why? Why? This is far enough. Huh? You go on home. Hey now, just go on home? You put a knife to a girl's throat. She's bleeding, ain't she? You know I oughta. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Huh? And now she ain't. See ya. Sorry about all that. Damn dirty. He's leaving. You're going to the Misty Valley. Aren't you? I'll go too. Jill. That girl. That big elf. 
She might be my friend who vanished a long time ago. So... So? Huh? What will happen? Give it up. As you saw, she's not human anymore. I'm about to go kill that friend of yours. If you come with me, what'll happen? Stay away. This ain't some kiddie game. Uh, hey! He's going. Is this it then? The end? Will it begin again? The way things always are there. Nothing changes. Nothing ever happens. Like it's always been. That's the way things are. That's... Look at you. Unbelievable. Why do you gotta go and say those things? Being all grown up and blunt in front of a tender little girl. She gives you shelter and food and you repay her like that. Uh, Don't do those things. Uh, Teach the youth. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Let me see your wound. Uh, ah! Ah! That does it. What the hell's your problem? I'm only going to say this once. I got no recollection of making you my pet. Quit buzzing around me. I'm sick of it. Huh? I'm not a pet, though. Hey, don't say that. Without me, this story'd be way too dark. You gotta have color in your life. I thought I told you before. Seeing elves makes me want to vomit. It makes me want to crush them. I really think you can live forever. I can at least take a finger down with me. One man, one kill. Oh, sure. Had enough, eh? Come get some more. Fine. See if I care. Under my skin. Fair enough. You make me babysit rats all night while I puke up this blood. At least I'll be able to pass out in the mud come morning. It takes me all night to cough this stuff up. <laughs> oh, no 
sweat. Oh, no beast will ever attack you if you're with an elf. Uh, uh, is he really an elf, I wonder? Or just some shady creature? Idiot response. This heading. Hey, is this okay though, Jill? Is what? You know, even if you are with me, ain't it bad news for a girl to be out this late? Besides, they're not elves. They're dangerous. More like monsters. Guts being how he is, you can't depend on him. And it's not like that queen's gonna become human again if you go to her. Hmm. Ah, uh, you might regret this. Whether I'd followed after him this way, or gone back to the village instead. Either way, probably. I'm sure I would regret it. Eh? Huh? But... But? Right now, I've already come this far. Jill, look! Ah! 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 with you? Oh. Uh. Sprinkle his dust on me. I hurt myself on the rocks and can't move. Not that I want it, but oh well. Um, um, I'm sorry. Um. Whatever. Just hurry. Why'd you follow me? Huh? Peacock. Huh? Hey! Peacock. So what is Peacock? Oh, Peacock the Outcast. All the kids around here know about that. It's a fairy tale. Long ago, in a village, there was a boy named Peacock with pointed ears and red eyes. His parents loved him very much, but he was always bullied by the village children because of his eyes and ears. They called him Red-Eyed Peacock and Pointy-Eared Peacock. Peacock thought. This isn't my home. These people aren't my real parents. Because neither Peacock's father nor mother, nor even one person in the whole village had red eyes or pointed ears the way he did. One night, Peacock snuck out of his house without his parents knowing. He went to find his own real parents and his own real world in which to live. He made his way alone into the forest where the elves were said to live, where the grown-ups said to never go. And Peacock found them. They had red eyes and pointed ears. Certainly they were the same as him. But this is what they said to the overjoyed Peacock. You're one of us. No, not true. You haven't wings to ride upon the wind like we do. Seeing Peacock's confusion, one of them informed him of something. Long ago, a human man and woman brought a baby here who was close to death from illness. We have broken the law of our village and entered this forest to save this child. This child is our life. 
Please somehow save him. The man and woman pleaded desperately. They granted the request, using magic on the baby. The baby's life was saved, but in exchange, his appearance was altered to half resemble the elves. Even so, the man and woman cried tears of joy. It only mattered that their child lived. When Peacock heard this, he ran off in great haste. With tears in his eyes, he went swiftly back the way he'd come. But when Peacock returned to his house, it was all too late. On top of a small hill between the village, where he no longer knew a single person, and the elf forest, where no human was allowed to live. For some strange reason, even though he'd only been in the forest for a few moments, in the village a hundred years had passed. Peacock the outcast cried and cried, his red eyes swollen even redder. <sighs> Not much of a happy ending. Rosine loved that story. In fact, she once told me I'm just like Peacock. Rosine was a girl four years older than me, who lived across the street. <laughs> to me, an only child, she was like a real big sister. Rosine was a little strange. She liked playing in the woods and streams like a boy would, and she'd do things like catch bugs and small animals to proudly show to me. She had lots of junk, the kind boys would consider treasure. The oddest of all was an egg-shaped stone that looked like a human face. She said she found it on a riverbank and always took good care of it. Huh? <sighs> We'd play in the woods and stream so long that suddenly the sun would be starting to set. That kind of thing happened often. But when I think about it now, it was because Rosine avoided going home. I didn't understand because I was so young. Rosine's parents fought a lot. She was always the reason. She'd often have bruises on her cheeks and arms. At those times, she'd always tell me, Jill, the story of Peacock isn't really right. In the real Peacock story, it turns out he really is an elf. Even now, he lives happily with his real father and mother in the land of the elves. And to tell the truth, I'm just like Peacock. I really belong in their land too. She turned to me as I looked serious and impressed and grin in a funny way. Like she was forcing herself to be cheerful. I heard about this later on. Before I was born, my village got wrapped up in a big conflict. At that time, almost all the villagers had taken refuge in the forest and were safe. But it seems not all the women escaped in time. Among them was Rosine's mother. Rosine had to grow up listening to her father's remarks. Like, is that girl really my daughter? Then one night, when it was raining heavily... Who's there? Rosine! Shh, Jill. This is goodbye. I'm leaving. Goodbye? Where are you going? Where else would I go? The Misty Valley. I'm going to the land of the elves. Farewell, Jill. I leave all my treasures to you. Rosine! Farewell. The grown-ups searched the forests and mountains for days looking for Rosine. But in the end, they weren't able to find her. Then, oddly enough, a few days later, her parents also vanished from the village. Almost like they followed after her. There was a wooden box with all the treasures Rosine said were mine now. But looking through it, that strange stone was the only thing I couldn't find. Then, some time afterwards, those elves started attacking villages. <sighs> I didn't really understand, being so young. But now I feel like I do a bit. How Rosine felt then. Hey, hey! Uh, that strange stone Rosine had? Again, you pest. Was it like this? 
Huh? Look, like this? Oh, it's the same as hers. What is it? A freeloader at my place and my body pillow, Betchy. Betchy the Bahalet. This is a magic stone. Bring back my Betchy! A magic stone that summons angels who grant power to weak little humans. Angels? They might just be demons disguised. But something like that. Even I don't get how you use this to summon them. But your friend ended up doing it. And she obtained that pseudo-elf form in exchange for something. Something? Funny that you mentioned fairy tales. It's just like Peacalf's eyes and ears. You gotta have some collateral for stuff like that. They require a sacrifice. They tell you to present what's most important to you in return for power. Huh? Gods? A few days later, her parents vanished, you said. Huh? Rosine offered them up to have her own wish granted. Her own parents' lives. As sacrifices. Huh? Let's put an end to this. This ain't some kid's fairy tale like Picaf. It's a gruesome, grown-up fairy tale. And if you stick your neck out any further, you'll end up dead. <laughs> Next time, <laughs> I'm not stopping my sword. This is no place for some kid who snuck off from a loser father and a powerless mother to go wandering around in. You're a nuisance. Hold on. Don't you think you went a bit too far? <laughs> Kids have their own fairy tales. You want to escape? Stick to Peacalf. Ah, uh, you get back here now! Why is it gonna be this way? You keep going on about kids, but excuse her for being one. This is child abuse. I'll sue. Regulations are strict these days. If you keep doing what you please, we'll get banned. Hey, what you doing there? Uh, oh, oh, let me out, you little... You're as fairy tale as they come. And you never learn. Jill. 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 Don't let what that rotten creep says get you down. Kids can't be blamed for being what they are. There's nothing wrong with you or Rosine, Jill. It's just that kids always suffer. And it's society that's to blame for that. Yeah, but it's embarrassing and frustrating. Oh. By the way, Jill, I kind of got stuck trying to get out. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Roz. Ages, Jill. Rosine, is it you? Huh? Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> so that's Rosine. Look how big you are now, Jill. Almost as tall as me already. Is it? Really you, Rosine? Mm-hmm. But the way you look... Gah-wee! <laughs> look, look! Well, it's like I used to tell you. This is the real me. The real? Yep. The Queen of the Elves. Huh? Rosine offered them up to have her own wish granted. Her own parents' lives as sacrifices. Oh, Jill, this is like old times. There are lots we should catch up on. I hereby extend you an invitation oh, to our land of the elves, the Misty Valley. The Misty Valley? But I... She's allowed. Uh, 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 wait a minute. I... It's fine, fine. Don't you worry about a thing. It's a good place. You can play and have fun all the time. Even after the sun goes down. <laughs> It's okay. I won't drop you. Oh no! Jill! Please, 
Francine, please. about to kill Jill too. Did you mean to kill Jill too? So what if I did? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 rotten! I already figured you were a rotten creep, but I never thought you'd stoop this low. Even a zombie fails at being as rotten as you. Inhuman scumbag. Dirty, rotten bastard. From now on, when I see you, I'm calling you the Bastard Swordsman. So anyway, that being said, you disgust me. I hope you get killed, jerk. Goodbye so long, Bastard Swordsman. Ah, uh, Bastard Swordsman. <laughs> Did I hold back somehow? Never. You don't need to be scared, Jill. I won't let go, no matter what. Look. It's a view no human could ever see. The world, as seen only by birds and us winged elves. Oh, incredible. The forest. The river. So far away. The sky. It's so vast. Beautiful. I didn't know the world was this beautiful. My village. So small. I can't see it anymore. In that tiny place, I become frightened and small. You can fly all you want. To your heart's content, Jill. That is, if you become one of us. You can fly all you want to your heart's content, Jill. That is, if you become one of us. Me? An elf? But... but I... I couldn't. Why not? Why not? Why not? Who is he? Eh? A black swordsman. Jill? Do you have a thing for him? It... it's not that. Right. I don't know anything about him. It looks like he was heading for the Misty Valley. I wonder if he'll make it there. The valley is guarded by... some dependable grown-ups. Huh? Grown-ups? Yup. They would never hurt children. And they protect us with their lives from all who would hurt us. They're real grown-ups. Protectors of children. The forest guardians, you'd say. The mist is everywhere now. This feeling. I must be just about at the Misty Valley. Got about us. <laughs> you can't pass. Anyone who'd hurt the children, we won't let any of them pass this point. From bandits to babysitters, huh? And from human to something else by the look of it. Yeah! <laughs> 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 What? Ah! Ah! 
One of you is dead. Don't bother moving aside. I'll trample every one of you. Coming through! personality that screwed up. He doesn't talk about himself one bit, you see. He only thinks of elves as bugs or something. How rude. If I hadn't been with him till now, where would he be? He does not get how important I am at all. What the heck happened between Guts and those god things anyway? <laughs> Especially his relationship with the raven-looking one. Must have been beyond description if it made him into what he is. Something incredible must have happened. But what? A human's whole life stained with nothing but rage. Now what would do that? Uh, uh, ah, forget it. Forget it. He's got nothing to do with me anymore anyhow. Nothing at all. It's too late. I doth care never more. I doth care never more. Huh? Is this... this place? The Misty Valley? Oh, 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 oh crap. Crap. Escape. Escape. But, but wait. Is... Chill somewhere in there. Okay. Okay. This is a good chance. I'm going in. If I run off now, I'll have failed. Spiritually. I did tell him. Just you wait, Jill. Here I come. One man, one kill. Ah. Ah. 
I never thought you'd really be able to defeat them all alone. Are you really human? Like I care what either you say. Impossible. That, that couldn't be true. <laughs> an, an army? Why are they here? Another war? Everyone! To the forest! Quickly! Quickly! Great good people! There is no need for worry. Father Hobbs! To think that we should lay eyes upon them in a place like this. All forces hot! Excuse us for disturbing your activity. Who is the priest in charge of this parish? I am. My name is Hobbs. We have been sent to this place by the Holy See on a mission of miracle recognition. I am Farnese, leader of the Holy Iron Chain Knights. Miracle recognition? But why in a region as remote as this? I beg your pardon in that regard. Incidentally, what is this? Please, we must speak in the village chapel, though I can offer no hospitality. All forces, a brief rest. Assist with the burial and shifts. Azan, Serpico, accompany me. I? Yes, ma'am. Huh? Huh? An elf and a black swordsman. You may not believe the story, but in God's name all of it is true. And those children, as you saw them... An elf and a black swordsman. That certainly is hard to believe all at once. But it is to confirm that authenticity that we have been sent to this place. Which means... We are following that black swordsman. Uh, um. I cannot divulge to you the details. But I think you are aware that many regions have seen repeated incidents of plague and poor harvest these past few years. In addition, wild rumors have again become commonly spread. Wild rumors? Of evil spirits and such things. Mm -hmm. Eyewitness reports to the Holy See of specters and monsters have increased these past two or three years. Of course, nearly all of them are nothing more than baseless falsehoods. Therefore, it is unthinkable for the Holy See to move on each and every one. But mysteriously, among those eyewitness reports, there is one common account that surfaces. That is, the Black Swordsman. Mm -hmm. When we trace this man's steps while relying upon these rumors, to our surprise, almost every time we came upon some grisly incident. And now, another one. Who is that man? Is he nothing more than an imagined vision born from the unrest of the people? Or is he merely a villainous criminal to whom exaggerated rumors have been attached? Or possibly... Possibly... Does he hold some importance... To our religion? Hmm. Huh? Eh? 
I see. I do not know the circumstances, but it is weighty enough that your group has mobilized against one man. It would seem that the reason is serious indeed. I suppose all that can be done is to meet with this man directly and ascertain the truth of the matter. But this is most troubling. The misty valley where the black swordsmen seem to be headed is, as I mentioned earlier, an extraordinarily dangerous place. The villagers in this region have dispatched vigilante groups a number of times, but to this day, not one man has returned. I wish to have one of the villagers guide you, but I do not wish to expose anyone to- Father! <laughs> Just something in there, Father. <laughs> Jill! Jill's still out there! <laughs> I'm home! Oh, dear. I'm heading out soon! Hey, where's your potter? I'm... You know, it, it, the armor I brought home from the war! I'm sorry! <laughs> Looks like luck's finally smiling on me, goddamn! <laughs> These two are tougher than those other bucks. We used to be knights. You'd best not lump us in with the others. No wonder. That's why they're so tough. <laughs> Not good. Can't fight them both at once. It's no use. With my hips turned from dodging, I can't kill it with one hit. At the same time, I can't dodge this time. Even if I dodge the big one, I can't avoid the mantis bastard's speed. What do I do? To kill in front and in back at the same time. Arteries got cut. But still, if I lose any more blood, uh, elf dust. Uh, that sneak. Covering the inside of a person's bag with dust. This, this, uh, uh, son of a bitch. I'll kill you dead. Hey! No reaction. This is the Misty Valley. Nice place, this. That's funny. It's autumn. 
bought there so many flowers. And somehow I feel nostalgic and strangely at ease. Huh? 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 Haha, <laughs> 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 what fun catch? Get it, watch it, catch it, hurry. Those are the ones who attack Jill's village. Uh, uh, but something... Uh, hey. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Uh, 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 now I've done it. Different. Something's different. His head. Uh, 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 uh. He's stiff as a board. The queen's back. She brought a new friend. Let's go. Let's go see Jill. I I better go. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Wow. A huge cedar tree. yourself at home. Oh. Eat, eat new friend. Hello, new friend. Uh, thanks. Oh. So, do you like the Misty Valley? Sh sure. For some strange reason, the flowers are always in bloom here, and the trees always have fruit. It doesn't get cold, even in winter. Oh. In the Misty Valley, you're never hungry or cold, like we were in the village. And this place is all ours. A secret flower garden just for elves. Where human grown-ups aren't allowed to come. A land just for us. Huh? If I'd known the Misty Valley was like this, I'd have come here with you sooner. Oh. So chill. Have you decided to become one of us? Sorry, Rosine. I still don't know. Sorry. Mm. That's fine. Spend tonight thinking it over. But Jill, was there anything fun in the village? Anything more fun than flying in the sky? Puck! Oh boy. Was it tough sneaking in here? Like... Unlimited lives weren't enough. I had to ice like 13 of them. Why are you here? Come on. I'm here to rescue you, of course. Or was it 15? To rescue? Yeah, yeah. 18 of them, to be exact. Oh, yeah. Where's he at? The swordsman. That? I gave up on him. <laughs> Team's history. Oh. You aren't together. I mean, he was gonna cut right through you, too. Last time. Oh. So that was true. I wondered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of guy he is. Forget that. Let's get out of here. It's just too dangerous for you to be here by yourself. Listen, Puck. I... You were asked to become an elf? Hmm. So, what, what you gonna do? You didn't say okay, did you? I don't know. I just don't know. Tell me. What should I do? What should you do? They're monsters. They sure ain't real elves. They attack and eat humans. Didn't you say so yourself, Jill? I guess so, but... They all seem to be having fun here. It's so peaceful. Attacking and eating humans is what wolves do, too. Maybe that's just what you do when you're not human. Wolves don't do that except in special situations. And hey, everyone here used to be... Besides, I can't find it. For me, I can't find anything more enjoyable than those little ones. Being hungry and cold, worrying about the weather every day, afraid of bandits 
Afraid of war. Hi, Jill. Ah. <laughs> From now on, forever and ever. Ah, I'm sensing a terribly chilling fear. What is it? B but look, look, um, nobody knows what the future holds besides your mother. Yeah, I'm sure your mother's worried. Never mind your old man. Mother, right. M maybe I'll turn out like my mother. Uh, hello? Unable to become angry no matter what happens. Even if her own child is beaten. Made to cry and become tiny. Maybe that's how I'll end up. Jill? Huh? Or maybe I'll become like my father? Bullying my child when the mood strikes. I'd never. Jill! I'm sure I would. I mean... I, I mean, I... I'm their daughter. It hurts, Jill! S sorry Puck, I... I've been crushed to death. What's all this? Uh, they're playing war. Charge, charge, fight, kill him, kill him. No game. They're really killing each other. <laughs> Dancing. Only humans can enjoy killing like that. Only humans, or else. or else. monsters. Wait, wait. Adult attack. Adult attack. <laughs> Kill him here, here. We have some. Eat. Uh, Ow. Uh, she won't accept. She hit us. She won't accept our gift. She hit out. Why, friend? Isn't she Isn't friendly? She? The, the moods turned ugly. We best scrap, Jill. Uh, this is no time to stiffen up. Let's escape. Don't excite them. Slowly. Slowly. Now! Go! She ran. She ran. The human child ran. Get her. Eat her. She's mean. The fog's gotten thick again. I can't run anymore. Jill, come on, stand up. Now's our chance while the fog hides us. But in this fog, we don't know which way to go. Uh, didn't think of that. Speaking of, where are we? Uh. What are these? A new kind of fruit? Oh, icky, icky. Oh. Something's inside it. Something icky. Huh? 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 They're cocoons. These things hang in here. They're all their cocoons. These are the emergence grounds, where human children are reborn as elves. Jill, why do you try to run away? No. Why are you so scared? What did they do to you? Well, I mean, they were killing each other. Oh, you mean playing war? Even humans are always doing that. Oh, right. Human children are cowards. It's all right. If you become an elf, it's not so scary. It's fun to go all out. But you die. It's not playing at all. It's really killing 
Your own friends! It's all right. There are new friends soon enough. The funny thing is that we're only playing human. Yet Jill the human hates it so much. Yep, yep. Preach on. That's right. No. It's all wrong. You say you don't like playing war. But if you go home now, there might be a real human war waiting for you in the future. <sighs> and that's not all. Hunger, cold, beatings. Human villages are full of bad things for human children. Remember back when you were small, when we played together, just us? The fun things were always outside the village. The forest, the river, our imaginations, outside our real lives. Every fun thing is right here. If you become an elf, everything, everything, everything you have ever imagined, even the sky. <sighs> it's okay. I'll make you into an extra special elf. Strong, pretty. No one will be able to hurt you. <sighs> Don't be scared. You just sleep for a bit. Kind of sleepy. You'll have sweet dreams inside the cocoon. Dreams of flying in the sky. Uh, what was it? Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh. Snap out of it, Jill! She's a monster! Ah, it's got me! Uh, you're the one, peek off. Ah. You gave Jill strange ideas. <clears throat> Grab. Uh -huh. uh. Not right yet. Gross. Not done yet. Uh. <laughs> no! Jill! Wh what? Uh. The cocoons! The elf cocoons! On fire! Mr. Swordsman! He's alive? monster to me. Yeah! Onward, men! Sir, if you keep that up with this poor footing... <laughs> See? I told you so. <laughs> that was nothing. Leave it to your humble servant's epic. I'll be sure to get you to the Misty Valley safely. Your heart is restless. I understand. I understand, Mr. Zepic. You volunteered for this life-threatening duty out of concern for your child. You are a paragon of parenthood and a devout follower as well. Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> All hands dismount. We can't go any farther by horse. All hands will proceed to the Misty Valley on foot, while the squires and horses remain here. Will you be able to fare well enough, Mr. Zepic? <laughs> no problem at all, see? Just leave it to me. <laughs> What's in? What is it? What indeed? Mm. Yeah, this is crazy. Mm. Once more, a mountain of corpses. But all this, all the bodies look as if they were blown apart by cannon fire. If this indeed was the work of the Black Swordsman, 
He must be leading some group of soldiers. Hmm. 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 I don't think so. What? I think he probably did this on his own. At a glance, these bodies appear to be the work of a cannon or something. But these are unmistakably edged weapon rules. I think it must have been a rather massive blade swung with incredible speed. As all the corpses are in the same state, I assume they were all attacked by the same weapon. Additionally, I think it is unnatural to propose there is more than one person who could handle such a weapon. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. It sure ain't no axe. He swung around this huge sword that was longer than he was. He's a terror. Hmm. If that is indeed the truth, then the Black Swordsman is no doubt the Hawk of Dark. Azar! Aye. You mustn't utter that name lightly. It would be profane. Yes. I spoke rashly. Now let's depart. The commander is fairly worked up. Hmm. This mountain of corpses and those village children. If this really is all his doing alone. Black swordsman, no. Hawk of darkness. I swear I will catch you personally. I swear it on my faith. For a human, but 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 ah, see, there are still many more of them. You won't win if they all attack at once. This is punishment for trashing the emergence grounds. Everybody, chew him slowly and go. Ah, 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 ah. Bye-bye, Mr. Tough Stuff. You were kind of fun. <laughs> What's he thinking? The elves? that went through my mind when I first saw him, lit by the lightning flash. But he, the man in front of me right now, is nothing so gentle as that. You'll pay. You're going to pay. fly because of these cocoon trees, and my dust will get blown off by the flames. That was his intent. Ah! Uh? Got her. Uh. 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 
missed again. Rosine! There's no use, Jill. What the? It's all gone. Everything's burned up. My elves, my land. Before long, all of it will burn in these flames. It can't be stopped now. Rosine? Is that... Rosine? But whatever. I don't need them. Not anymore. I have wings. I can fly anywhere. To some place new, I'll make a new paradise. So I don't need anything anymore. Just as long as I have Jill. However, you alone have to pay. <laughs> what the? off target from losing an antenna, but next time, Sting. You okay, Jill? Yeah. You? Rosine? Uh-oh. Uh that stoked the flames. Huh? Uh, uh. Uh, she's aiming right for my head at that speed. Ah! What is it? The explosive blast trailer and, a, and the thunderous sound afterwards. <laughs> There's no use trying to strike me down or flee. There's no one in the world faster than the Queen of Elves. She just streaks by and nearly obliterates me. I can't hear after those booms either. This ain't good. Even if I try to attack, my timing's way off. Whoa, whoa. That's weird. All right. I'll aim a little slower. Stop. I'll just stop it. Head skewer. It slowed down. Sting. 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 Are you stupid? Even if you do that, I'll skewer your arms and head. I can see it. Guards! Mr. Swordsman! So, uh, I missed again? Oh well. <laughs> Maybe it's just as nice to stare at your bloody face for a while. Hold me close now. I need pie. Please. <laughs> it's a date in the starry sky. <laughs> Falling asleep so soon. Oh shame. As we have such a pretty view of the moon. Um a 
Upon a closer look, you really are quite handsome. I kind of see why Jill might like you. But it's still too soon for Jill. She's still a child. You can't have her. Jill is mine, and mine alone. Now, this is the end. I'm going to fly at full speed and tear you to shreds. Bye-bye. This time, I really mean it. I've already blown three chances to offer. Is her appearance distracting to me? Or is it Jill's story? Am I really such a softy? Look at me, at this mess. I went too easy on her, and now I can hardly hold my sword. Black it out. One more time. I'll take my urge to kill. And black everything else out. But how do I dodge that whip thing and get close to her in this shape? Even if I do get close, my gunpowder's bottomed out. <coughs> that fool. She's still wandering around here. I couldn't be so inhuman. Eee. Oh, but then I'm an elf, and I'm about to be chestnuts in an open fire. Y y yeah, that's it. I'll burst one of those over my head, just like guts. Everything's all right. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> nice idea. No, never. Uh, you got a better idea, stupid girl. <laughs> we want blood. That's right. I am stupid. Jill. I knew it was true. See, didn't you even say so? Now I regret everything. I need this too. Enough. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away and leave. Stupid me. Jill, if you sit there like that, you're just going to die. You didn't come this far to die, did ya? <laughs> <That's not. laughs> huh? You all right, Jill? Rosine! Uh, uh, no! Don't worry. Trust me. I'll carry you somewhere safe. Wait here until I take care of him. Then the two of us will go. When no one can stop us. Somewhere far, far away. Rosine!
would come and save Jill. He'd just get quiet and watch the fire engulf her, hiding himself behind a curtain of flame. <gasps> Jill! <gasps> Now's our chance to escape! <gasps> human you scum snacked on playing your games. You wouldn't remember. A human. A human must never be allowed to cause pain for an elf. Uh, uh. <laughs> of the elves, all mine! Rosine! Rosine? Huh? Rosine? Mom? Thank God you're safe. Why are you here? Oh, girl. Oh, girl, you had me so worried. Uh. <coughs> Dear, stop! Of all the stupid things to do! Huh? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused everyone in the village? Don't you dare humiliate me ever again! What? Have you got something to say? Get your ass up! We're going back to the village! Here, stop it! Do you have any idea how long looking for you has delayed the harvest? <coughs> Were there elves? Were there any elves here? Dear, stop! Worthless superstitions! You're too old to believe in that crap! Or was this for me? Did you do this because I'm not your real father? <sighs> Dear, please stop it! She's just a wee girl! Shut up! Oh. This is wrong. This kind of thing can't happen here in the valley. I don't. I don't need all this. Go away! Everything! Just go away! Forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me, father. Mother. Look! Ah! Ah! Rosine! It's too late. J Ill. They weren't there. There weren't really any elves. I waited. Alone, day after day, but no elves appeared. There were never any such things. Peacock and the elves of the Misty Valley were just fairy tales that some lonely child made up, I'm sure. Rosine! That's not true. Peacock, you... <sighs> Long ago, elves really did live here. I don't know why everybody's gone, 
But I'm sure my kind did live here. I can tell. I can feel it. Your kind? He's an elf. See? A real one. Real one. So, he is... They were here. The elves. I took down the Black Swordsman! Me! Oh no! Attack! Rescue the children! Huh? After him! Grab him! After him! Grab him! Wait for me. I I'll go too. Mr. Zepic, we must pursue the Black Swordsman. But you must stay here and watch over the children. No, but but I... The Black Swordsman, I, I mean... You must not push yourself. Firing that arrow to save your daughter was admirable, but I could never dream of involving an outsider such as you in this danger any further. You just leave him to us, and take your time basking in the joy of being reunited with your child. Um, hey! Mm. Uh, uh, so then! Uh, uh, Why, I oughta... God damn it, that son of a bitch! I didn't come all the way out to the Misty Valley just for this! I... I... One more time... <laughs> Some further. Huh? Rosine? S stop. That's enough. Jill, what's that thing? Uh, ain't that an elf? Have to go home. <gasps> stop it! Move, stupid! Oh, Ow! Thing. Ow! Rosine! <sighs> I have to go. Must go home now. The sun's gone down. And the moon's already so high. If I don't hurry home, Mum and Dad will be worried. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Wonder what's for dinner tonight. On top of a small hill between the village, where he no longer knew a single person, and the elf forest, where no human was allowed to live, Peekoff the outcast cried and cried, his red eyes swollen even redder.
Rosine's flown off for home. Almost like Peacock running back to his house. A road she will never reach the end of. Ah, Thomas, you got me good to get my hopes all up. They planned this from the start. Don't get me going on stuff that won't happen. Sons of bitches. <sighs> Come on. I'm going home, Jill. Come on. Quit standing there. Let's go. I can't go. Huh? To say what? I can't go home yet. You fool. What the hell does that mean? Don't you talk back to me. Uh, what? You go back to the village, Dad. Ah, hey, Jill! Where the hell do you think you're going with that elf, you stupid girl? Puck, find out where the swordsman is. All right. But he's dangerous. You saw him before, right? Besides, why? After everything he's put you through. I just can't. What? I just can't. I can't leave things this way. Find him! Leave no stone unturned! Capture the Black Swordsman! Commander, it's hopeless in this fog. And it's only a matter of time before that fire makes its way here. Silence! After years, we've finally gotten this close. I'm not about to let him just escape. Mr. Swordsman? Uh, you going away? Uh, Are you an idiot? Why are you still following me after all that crap? It's like I told you, huh? You're lucky to still be alive. You almost died plenty. Your old friend was killed and you're soaked in bloody sludge. Keep hanging around, I promise you'll see more of the same. Now get lost. Go away. But... That time, I nearly burned to death. You saved me, didn't you? Oh, so he still noticed Jill. Uh, take me with you, Jill. I won't slow you down, so... Take me somewhere far away. Somewhere that... Somewhere that isn't here. I don't care where, as long as it's not here. I don't care. Look. Huh? Take a good look around us. Huh? A good hard look at the shadows, at the darkness around me. Uh, uh. You said somewhere that's not here. This is that somewhere. The verge of our world. This place is adrift, where the dead cling to the living, drowning in jealousy and yearning, a garbage heap of losers. You said you don't care where. Well, what you see is what you get. This is your paradise. Child! Child! There is just a battlefield. Mr. Swordsman? Go home. No! I don't have... I don't have a place I want to go home to. Go home. This is my battlefield. Only bad things happen there. Nobody's kind to me. Go. Go back. Back to your battlefield. Mr. Swordsman! 
disappeared into the darkness. In the end, I still didn't know who he was. Just like when he appeared, he took the demons with him. I was the only one left behind. I still don't really know what these past days of fear, sadness and shock were to me. The mist cleared away. Wow! The mist that would never go away was pushed out by the flames. The clear sky now peeks through, but it's by no means a spectacle that makes my heart leap, like when I flew in the sky with Rosine. It's savage, lonely, cold, but such a vivid sky. It's a clear sky, like the kind after a storm blows through. I don't have wings, so I guess I'll look up at this sky and crawl along the earth. Maybe the fluid from that cocoon he doused me with, mixed with Rosine's blood, washed away my childhood. Guess this is it, Jill. You're going? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Jill? Will you be okay? Alone? Yeah. I... I guess I don't think I can be violent like the swordsman after all. And I guess... I really don't have the courage to run away, like Rosine did. But... But at least... I think I'll try crying, and shouting, and biting my way through. Maybe I can change something. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Farewell, Gifts. Sting your dad with this as much as you like. Thanks. Hey, Puck. Why do you go with him? Hmm. But... I just can't leave him be. That idiot. Elves really do look best in the blue sky. In a tiny village nestled in a ravine, difficult to see even from the air, I think I'm about to start my own tiny battle. Children, so many killed. 
So long as there are demons, killing's all right. Even those children didn't become demons by choice. Those poor children, poor them. For your one and only desire, is it right to kill dozens of them? Children, hundreds of them. It's right to kill so that you should survive. It's right to kill. You stink of darkness. You do. The stink of darkness very close to us. It lives inside you, the beast. Black, black. The beast of darkness. It thirsts while it's there. More and more. It thirsts. The more blood in which it bathes, the more it does thirst. The beast has an insatiable appetite. As you kill, it thirsts. As it thirsts, you kill. The blood must flow. So keep killing. It will still thirst forever. All alone. Always. Always alone. Always, always. Then the beast will consume you. It will take your place. You will come to feel nothing but hatred. You will become a monster in the form of a man. No. Perhaps you can become a real monster. Maybe you can. Maybe, maybe. Like your friend. Like him. Ha! Uh, you're goddamn kidding me. In a place like this, by these weaklings. Sacrifice. 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 But when will I reach him? How many more dead will I have to push aside? How many more apostles will I have to cut down? How long will I have to creep in darkness until him? Close, uh, close. With those wounds, could he have wandered off and died? Jeez. Hmm. Uh. Idiot sighting! Alrighty, time for the full lecture. Look here, you. Just have a seat right there. Big hands! Ah! Hey, what are you doing? Wake up or you're dead. Give up, give up. One, two, jackass. Put some spirit into this. What's the big idea after all your preaching to jail? Uh. Ah! Huh? You're awake. Why, you quit? Ah, <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> uh, you know, I can't keep tense with you around. Taking it seriously just seems silly. Looks like they gave up too. Did you see my power? Yeah. It lives. The beast will become a monster. You will become beast. Monster. <laughs> Screw that. Uh -huh. I'm me. There's nothing else. I am what I am. And I will make my way to him. Well, 
I'll go and treat your wounds once you wash the blood off in the river. Hey, it's all thanks to me. Thanks to me, you keep kicking. It's all me. Her. <laughs> well, I suppose he does have some additional value. All right. You win, Puck. That can be your place. Do what you want. Hey, did you just say Puck? Huh? You did, you did. We've been together for so long, and that's the first time you called me by name. Whatever. <laughs>